All right, it is time for our Top Talkers segment. And joining us are our panel, Cub Carson, Candace Strover, and uh, Cody Jeffries. Great to have you all here once Friends? again. Our normal, uh, well, no, you're not part of the normal Tuesday crew. I'm abnormal. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we, like we already knew all of that yes, as it is. <laughs> this is something that we thought was really interesting. And of course, we're all on our phones. We're all kind of doing the updates. We're required with uh, Twitter and Facebook and so forth. Do you ever feel like you are missing out? feeling like you're missing out. There's an app now that is trying to help people with that and allow them to feel like they are with it and they're out and they're cool and they're hanging with the cool people. It is called Couch Cache. It helps you fake an awesome social life <laughs> online. <laughs> Is this what it's so, come to now? Well, most of us, I used to, you know, and love, you know, heading in on a Friday night and heading in and getting in my pajamas and putting on a really cool, sappy movie and just hanging out or taking a bath. People feel like they can't do that anymore, that they have to be on the go and they have to be somewhere. And this app will send out things. It will check you into Foursquare. It'll tell the people that you're at a concert. It'll send a picture on Instagram with people <laughs> hanging with the cool people. <laughs> This is out there. The, the, you know what it is? This is The Sims come to life. This, this is exactly what that is. So many people spend so much time on that video game creating a life for themselves, uh, you know, a, a cyber life, and this is actually art imitating life? Or is this life imitating art faking life and art? <laughs> I don't understand. It, why do you need this? Why, do, why don't people just go out people. and do it themselves then? Like, well, because the, not all of us, not everybody wants to. Not, ev not any, everybody has the ability to and maybe they don't have this social life and they don't have all of the things and they're not going to these concerts and they're not heading into this restaurant but they have that feeling the fear of missing out and so this is kind of portraying it do you would a are you looking at ago, that I was at a concert with a bunch of friends and my cell phone just it died so I'm using a loaner phone doesn't have a data plan on it and everyone that I was with was tweeting, putting pictures on Instagram, and I just felt so left out that I couldn't be a part of that. I was like, can someone just take a picture of me going like this, just to, to say I was here, there. to prove that I was here? You do feel left out, but I don't think I would go as far as to you know, be at home on a Friday night and be like, I'm at this place when I'm at home in my PJs. That's a little much, I think. Curry? I don't know if I would do it either. I'm comfortable being at home by myself, sometimes reading a book or whatever, mm -hmm. but you know, putting my out there and being like fake life reminds me of a Seinfeld episode, I think. You're not well, even fake, in the fake, photos. Fake, fake, fake. We, we, so. if, if, you're, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter to begin with, you already have a fake life on the go. Why, why do you need multiple fake lives? Usually people can tell what you're up to just by checking out your updates on Twitter or Facebook. But like to have an actual app that takes it to that next step where, where so you're essentially lying to people? Well, yeah, essentially, yeah. yes, you are. <laughs> now, the, now they realize by doing this, they, they are kind of putting a spin on it, right? Yeah. Like they're, they're not, the people who have designed this are, have a point to it. They say that this is part of the fear of missing out, a psychological condition that the creators believe is running rampant thanks to the increasing popularity of social media. And so they're now trying to get this into a medical term of the fear of missing out. <laughs> and, have, and, 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 and so this is kind Fomo. of the start. Well, that's what it's called, yes. Is that what exactly. it is, really? Oh. That is what it's called. <laughs> FOMO. FOMO. You know, wow. So, I mean, and they give an example, you know, on, on this, uh, on this, in this article, kind of, uh, you know, Brooklyn Youth Chorus Academy. So they've taken in this, you know, chorus and this concert, and the, then this thing is, I could do it better. Or Black Mountain Winehouse, wonderful nose on this Merlot. Oh, for crying out loud. It's just building a house <laughs> of lies. That's what it all comes down to. I mean, I, I think at some stage we've, We've got to cut the cord and, and go back to the way things used to be done, which was getting off the couch, getting away from the computer, and getting out there and interacting with people. Because what's happening is we're raising a society of people that do not know how to socialize in public. They might feel very, very comfortable uh, being you know, behind a keyboard, uh, you know, with their nose mm -hmm. in, 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 a, in a computer, but uh, getting face to face, we're, 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 we're losing that, lost, like that, that art of conversation. We're losing that. And this is all it's just doing. This FOMO thing is just, you're, you're throwing fuel onto a fire. You're making lazy people even lazier. <laughs> but they're feeling pretty cool. Uh, you can check it out. <laughs> Couch at Cache. Uh, Couch at Cache. C-A-C-H-E-T. Uh, if you're looking for more information on this newest app. Thanks to our panel. We do have to take a break.